Hello, hello. Yo. We're back after a couple of weeks off. Yes, we've been busy. Producer pod. Did we not do it last week? No, because... Something happened. What happened last week? <laughs> anyway, um, as we were. Oh, I didn't have a voice. That's right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I lost my voice. Um, Unwell. Sick. That's right. And because we've been doing um, Make It Rains, a lot oh, of yeah, Make It Rain, yeah. which that means a lot of talking on the phone. Yeah. So many people calling for tickets. And then, yeah, by the end of the show, you had no voice. There, there was times there where you were like, uh, maybe just take 10 minutes and I'll just answer phones for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was talking a lot. And I like to chat with people when I'm on the you, phone. You are chatty. Yeah. But you like, yeah, you had nothing left to give. No. So we had to I give, give it voice. all to this job. <laughs> well, um, always a break. Speaking of Make It Rain Echo tickets, we did get a message from Carl on Aww. the B105 Instagram. Do you have Echo tickets? I can't get them from Stav, Abby and Matt. Oh. Which also means you can't get them from us. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, we won't have any more. I think we're done. That's it. Oh yeah. Echo ends tomorrow. Because yeah. this will be on Saturday. So, uh, sorry, sorry, Carl. Carl. <laughs> Next year, cross your fingers yeah, and get, hope... in, get in early. <laughs> um, we gave away so many, though. Yeah, I, I don't know the actual number of tickets, but it would have been like hundreds. Yeah. I would say. I think it was up around 500. Yeah. Um, the only place in Brisbane to get free Ecker yes. tickets. I heard that promo. <laughs> <laughs> Did Triple M have tickets, too? Yeah, of but course. not as many. Yeah, not I think many. they they might have got a bit. Sad a lot of our us. allocations yeah. uh, get split amongst our two stations. It's not like B one hundred five is completely separate. Anyway, yeah, in a way. If, for people who don't know, we are in the same building as Triple M, and it's, um, it's been a running. They're joke. like our. We're like brother and sister. Yeah, ish. And we're probably. Well, we're, they would be the old... Oh, we're more like the old? hot stepsister. Yeah, we are. Hot stepsister. <laughs> and they're like... And they want to bang us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's accurate. Um, yeah, so anyway, sorry, Carl, that can't happen till next year. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people missed out, I think, because this, yeah. they go crazy. Really? We've had... Make tickets are nuts. Yeah. Um, so... And make it rains... Actually, I've got that on the list of stuff to talk about. Yeah. Because oh. there is stuff that happens behind the scenes of Make It Rains that really impacts us. Not yeah. just our voices answering calls, but where things go in the show. Yeah. So when we do a Make It Rain, which means everyone who gets on air will win either Echo tickets or like um, we do like Ed Sheeran tickets, concert tickets, um, free fuel sometimes. Um, we have like a certain number of things we're allowed to give out on a make it rain we can't just like make it rain for everyone so unfortunately we might have like 20 things yeah. that we're allowed to give out throughout the show to be able to split up yeah. we can't just like give endless does that make sense yeah with the echo ones we probably could have but then the whole show would just be people going hey you want echo tickets you want echo tickets you want echo tickets yeah which doesn't make for a great show yeah, so sometimes when we ask like people, hey, like, who are you going to take with you or what do you want to do there? And then um, this one girl said she was going to take her boyfriend and then Abby said, oh, you can have a patch on the Ferris wheel. Um, and then that girl ended up contacting us and she's like, thanks for the Eka tickets, but um, where are my Ferris wheel tickets as well? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she thought yeah. that um, Abby meant she could go on the Ferris wheel like for, from us. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Soz. 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 <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the first time the guys on air have gotten trouble for giving away something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Good segue there. For you, into, you've thrown into Alpha Bucks. Well, why not? Yeah. So, this happened yesterday, Friday. Yes. Um, so we're going to play you a little, we're going to play you the Alpha game um, and maybe you'll pick what happened from our point of view. <laughs> All right, your letter is H for happy. Okay. All right, first question. Here we go. Name a four letter word. Home. A Beyonce song. Pass. A movie, a movie series. Happy feet. A country. Hungry. An animal with four legs. Horse. A shape. Hexagon. Something that flies. Helicopter. A brand of beer. Heineken. A musical. Hairspray. A type of extreme weather. Hurricane. A Beyonce song. Halo. Plenty of things. 
Bloody hell, you're a sprinter, Carly. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so I'll come in. Um, basically, Alpha Box is like $10,000. So um, it goes for 30 seconds. And Jace and I, when the answers are being answered, we're like checking, making sure is that is that really a country? Is that really a place? Like, you know, trying to make sure all the answers are right. So yes. it's super fair for everyone. But um, when that person said pass. Um, uh, hairspray. A type of extreme weather. Pass, then hairspray. Pass and hairspray. So like, I don't know. I was a bit like, is that correct? Is it not? So you can look at our terms and conditions on our website for games like Alpha Bucks and stuff. Um, and sometimes in the heat of the moment, like as a producer, you need to make a decision whether something is right or wrong. And in that moment, I was unsure as to whether we should have given the money. So I just needed like a minute to sort of pause and check um, before, you we- know, we gave away $10,000. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, she was correct and it was right. But like... I think sometimes, like, you just got to double check. Yeah. So, it was was like a minute of us chatting off air and the guys being like, what's happening? So, we had our brand experience director, Nick, who um, is the, I guess, head of Alpha Box. He would be the final call. Yeah. So, we were just discussing with him, like, hey, is this cool? Is this not cool? And then we decided it was cool. Yeah. And she got the money. And she got the money. You have just won ten thousand dollars. Yes! Oh, I thought it would have anyone here to celebrate with. We're we on do. Our way. We said we're going to the casino. How good though? I love a cold feed. Is that a cold feed? Uh you must be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so a cold feed basically go. means uh, it takes all the music, the music and production elements. I just out grabbed of it because like, you're like, we need this thing yeah, yeah, in five yeah. minutes. Let's go. And yep. so I just grabbed it. So probably... I like a cold feed. You hear whatever you hear Abby's big long scream in the back. Like, yeah, it just keeps going. <laughs> but with production over, it, you don't really hear that. Also, though, just want to say before we did that game, or I think it was that game was at eight o'clock, but we did a game at seven o'clock. Um, and I think you said that you had a good feeling. Oh yeah. I yeah. thought it was going to go off on the, I don't know. Sometimes I get feelings about people. Yeah. There's a feeling in your waters. Go, yeah. Yeah. And I, 7am I was like, oh, this person's, this person's going to get it. Yeah. For sure. They didn't. I think they only got four. Yeah. But I feel like that set. That was meant to be for the. For eight. Yes. Totally. And then we give it away at eight and that's exciting. It's super exciting. Um, so. We love giving out money. Yes, we do. It's so cool. I wonder what she, what did she say she was going to do with it? Go to Japan. Go to Japan. Yeah. Which seems to be popular at the moment. You're going to Japan soon. I know. Oh, Every, you everyone's influenced me. Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. All our listeners, like we a lot of them want to go to Japan. So, yeah. Have you been? I, w- I want to go back. Yeah, we went, we went there for our honeymoon. Nice. What cities did you go to? Went to Tokyo, um, Osaka, Kyoto. Oh, that's all the places I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How cool. Meiji Castle. Beautiful. I, I did 24 hours in Japan. Would you, why? Were you stuck uh, at stop, the airport? Stop over. No. So my wife was an international flight attendant for Qantas. Oh. And she was doing a trip to Japan and um, she gets staff travel and I was on her staff travel. And she goes, hey, it's 400 bucks if you want to fly business to Japan oh, return. business. And I was like, Yeah. And so I went over there for 24 hours. Just How was the business flight? Was that so quite nice? Good. Yeah. Like they had a reclining bed. Oh. And, and, I know, guess we all want to know if your partner was on the flight, did you enter no, the mile she, high She club? was working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was she working? Yeah. <laughs> which, which, to be honest, like, that probably would have been a better opportunity <laughs> because no one would have questioned what's going on up there. They would have yeah. been like, oh. Anyway. Yeah. A- anyway, yeah. So I went to Japan for 24 <laughs> hours. It was good. Went to a karaoke bar. Nice. Got pissed. Lived out your um, Lost in Translation fantasies. You know, okay. I haven't seen the movie. Oh, okay. Don't, we'll forget about that. <laughs> you know, That's Bill not... Murray. What happened? Scarlett Johansson. Oh, hanging yeah. out in Japan, in Tokyo, being lonely and sad in Tokyo. Oh, it's a great movie. Anyway, kind Sophia of Coppola. Bit grungy. Grungy? I don't know. Anyway. Isn't my, isn't nice. well, I'm thinking of Final Fantasy. For some reason. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's different, right? People different. Yeah. dying, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Anyway. We... Happy cheerleading. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was a good segue. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of people dying, um, Abby's going to attempt to cheerlead She's this Sunday. Yeah. It's, it's going to be really good. I'm excited for everyone to see it. Um, 
heaps happened in the last couple of weeks too. Yeah. We did a photo shoot. A glam up. A gla- yeah. Because she got, she got her outfit, her DCC uniform, which I think on the last producer pod you revealed that you purchased That I purchased it. and it was the wrong size. Yes. But it ended turns up out fitting. Not the wrong size. Of, fit she perfectly. was just being dramatic. Yeah. Totally. It looked good, didn't it? Yeah. yeah How many really likes good. did it get on social media? Oh, my God. Oh, it went off. That's it was we one of our most it was popular. It over 100,000 um, views for the reel. Wow. Yeah. So that was when she was um, transforming from her regular clothing into the... Boring mom, a- it, it Abby, a, to yeah. cheerleader mom, Abby. Yeah. It, it was yeah. a six-second cool... clip, and it had something like 80 hours of watch time. What? 80 yeah. hours? So people of... have just rewatched, just rewatched, watch, rewatched. Watch, watch, watch. Oh. watch. Had well, something like over 100 saves. Um, 100 saves? Yeah, a bunch of sends to people. Like it was, it was pretty... 102,000. Wow. Views. Good job. Um, and you're not even the social guy. No. But we, <laughs> well done. So with the photo shoot, uh, Abby agreed to do the photo shoot in the Dallas cheerleader outfit. In the condition that we'd get her full hair and makeup done. And we did that? Yes, we did. Um, Worth it. Thank you, Danny, the makeup artist. She was gorgeous. She was so good. Yeah, she was awesome. And I'm pretty sure she's doing Abby's uh, makeup tomorrow for her cheerleading yeah, competition Abby loved too. Yeah, so much, yeah. So, um... That's awesome. But so, yeah. We also, like, along with that reel, we also took photos in her actual cheer outfit. Yes. As well, which also, if you ever want to build a social following, hot, get hot like, girls just in just outfits. Hot, hot girls in cheerleading like, outfits. If we could just post Abby cheerleading content <laughs> for the rest of the year, our socials would go off. Yeah. Because even the photos of Abby in her actual outfit, 2017 likes. 18 sh- like f- shares to people, 90 comments, which is quite good for our socials. Yeah. Because we and don't for usually just get a that, photo a to, for 90 comments. Like, we didn't really ask a question or there wasn't no. like a topic to discuss. It was just a photo. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the photo shoot happened. Also, big guest. That oh, you were yeah. Able to lock in Ash. Okay. So, um, oh, so since the start of this, this all started. Before the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader um, Netflix documentary came out, um, that's sort of when the idea of getting this cheerleading thing underway started. So before, when we first heard about that, we were like, yes, this is a really good reason to get Abby to do cheerleading. She watched the documentary and she loved it. And um, naturally we were like, hey, we want to interview some of these um, cheerleaders from the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. So I reached out to like... Basically all of them. But then after the show had aired, they all got really popular. Yes. Um, and then Victoria. Yeah. So I I had Flashback looked in, to producer pod number one. <laughs> I had looked at an interview with Victoria Kalina, who's uh, one of the former now Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, um, who was very vocal in the documentary. And I thought she'd make a really good interview. And she was one of Abby's favorites too. So I locked her in for an interview um, waiting around for like half an hour on a Zoom. She never showed and now she's just completely ghosted us. I have no idea what's happened. She's probably just... As... I think she died. No, no, no. She she's actually died, very didn't much. She? A... She's... What? No, no, no. She's alive and well. Um, <laughs> I excuse. think maybe yeah. she... That's the only reason someone wouldn't want to talk to us. She died. Well, maybe she forgot about it and feels bad, so now she's just cut all contact. But didn't she message Abby yes. this week? Yeah, so Abby, from that uh, photo we posted of Abby in her Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders outfit, she tagged Victoria. Victoria saw it. But like, so, yeah. But then Abby asked her to come on again. Well, I don't think she would connect the two because she's got so many messages probably coming in and out and whatever. Anyway, so that fell through. But good news, um, I, like two weeks ago, finally got an email back from the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Um... And they said that Judy, who's the head choreographer, was keen to come on and have a chat. Um, so we did a Zoom with her on Thursday, um, and it was su- a surprise for Abby. Yes. So Stav and Maddie knew about the interview. I told them, hey, I finally locked this in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, let's surprise Abby with it. And Abby, like, doesn't really love to be surprised sometimes. She enjoys knowing, like, what's happening and um, I knew that she would do well in this interview because she 
knows who Judy is. She already would have had questions like I knew that she didn't need any preparation and it would be really fun and exciting to surprise her. But um, she was kind of freaking out beforehand because she's like, what are you guys doing? We're being all secretive. And she's like, what are you doing? Like, what? Like, who's this interview with? What's happening? And then I'm like, oh, it's fine. Don't worry. And like, um, it's sort of hard to keep secrets. It is sometimes. So really hard. hard. So yeah. hard. Abby is the worst. Yeah. She's yeah. such a control freak. She won't let anything she, yeah. go. If there's a little bit of whisper, it's like, what's that? I need to know. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's it, it, even if we know it's going to be a surprise, she still like tries she her still hardest wants to, to know. ruin it. Even and if we tell like, her, you will love this, Abby. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she just can't let it go. No. And then afterwards, she was like, "Oh my god, that was amazing! Like, I'm so ex- <laughs> I'm like, I told you, I yeah. told you." She's like, "Am I going to like this? Am I going to like?" this what if i don't like it i'm like i don't know just you will trust me that uh interview is also in friday's podcast if you want to listen but i I do love how brutally honest she is yeah so because it was on a zoom with judy um we firstly sent through some photos of abby in the uniform of the dcc uniform and she said that abby looked great um and then abby did some of her high kicks for judy which is like a staple of for the dallas cowboy cheerleaders and uh apparently her high kicks weren't to Dallas standard. So why was that? She said something about pointing toes, which was good. She said pointed toes was good, uh, but the kicks weren't high enough. Um, so uh, the which Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders issue. put their kicks like almost hitting their head, like really, really high. So I just just thrown up a little bit of uh, audio for us. Oh, good. I was what wondering what you guys were doing. I was trying to pad. What's the first? <laughs> what's the first one? Yeah, just the high kick. Oh, high kick. Yeah. How about I just do my high kicks for you? Okay. 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 I'm ready. Okay. <gasps> Your toes were pointed. I'm impressed. Were they high though? No, no they were okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. It's not going to lie to you. Uh, okay. You got an okay from Judy. Yeah, they're yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, your toes were pointed and your legs were straight. And you I smiled. Mm. And you yeah. smiled and you look like, and that's the biggest thing is having fun. Yeah. And so, you know, she's a real straight shooter. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. So the next one, Abby's like, do you reckon I could, you know, audition? Yeah. You can tell when a performer is enjoying what they're doing. Mm. They draw you in. Yeah. So do you think yeah. I'd make it for the audition? Yeah. Would you, no. I, I, do. I think you're going to do really well at what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about how honest you and Kelly are. Like brutal, but honest. We try to be. Yeah. So good. Yeah. What you're doing, your little cheer thing. Your little cheer yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't even know what you're doing, but... Yeah, that was at the start of the interview. She actually yeah. said that. Hey. Yeah, well, it's because I... Um, like, she knew that what we were doing, but, you know, Well, yeah, so to... I never spoke directly to Judy until she was on the Zoom. Yeah. But because we were doing it as a surprise. So we had Judy connected to the Zoom. I was talking through um, people at the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders who then organised Judy. So I told them, hey, we're doing this thing with Abby. She's a cheerleader, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. I don't know. And I imagine they're extremely busy, so they're probably not passing on every no, bit of information. No, absolutely not. Hey, can you just chat to this radio show? They just want to talk about Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Yeah, That's pretty much. That's probably what she got. So, any, anyway, I think it was really funny. Yeah, well done. Good. Big, big win. Big win. Oh, yeah. Yay. Especially after Victoria, where you think you I failed. Know. I yeah, know. Oh, yeah, me, me failing. Yeah. No, I'm very happy with Judy now. So, But Abby yeah. is doing the performance tomorrow, so Monday we will have uh, some audio to play yeah. back. Uh, the video will be up on our Instagram as well. Yep. Uh, also, you could, get, you could get along if you're if you that much of a diehard yeah. fan. Arena. Nissan Arena. I buy your brands. tickets. Um, if you type yeah, that in Google. and it's called the Utopia Challenge. Um, Nissan Arena, her performance will be closing out the day. So it'll be, um, yeah, around four o'clock. We'll all be out there. Yeah. Um, yes. Sh- does Abby listen to this podcast? No, I doubt it. Should we talk about the little crowd? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, she won't listen to this before then. Absolutely. Because there's a surprise for Abby. Yes. Uh, Although we might another be wrong. Another surprise. Yeah, that we, she, uh... we might be wrong. She might be listening. I don't think she's listening. No, I don't. I don't, I don't. She's too busy practicing. She'll but. ruin her own. Abby, if you if you are listening, tune out now because you'll ruin your own surprise. Okay, go. <laughs> go what on. do you think just happened? And 
Abby just turned it up a little bit more. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. As if um, she would. So in the crowd, if you do come along on Sunday, you'll see a bunch of massive Abby heads yeah. in the crowd. Cardboard cutouts. Like they do at the footy. Yeah. You know, the big giant I think heads. ours are almost like too big. They're quite They're an huge, awkward hey? size. Yeah. I think we should have sized down a little bit. Because nah. I don't know, like, how Anyone are you going to hold? those people is going to be annoyed. Oh, Yeah. We, I always I think, think that because at the Dolphins games the, uh, on the weekend, uh, last weekend, they gave away big giant Jesse Bromwich heads to all these kids in the front row. And then yeah. I was like, I, and then the, the next five rows behind just them can't the actually game. see the game because yeah. there's a giant Jesse yeah, Bromwich head. Yeah, it is annoying. Yeah. Even um at the uh, with the fins on yes, the head the fins. at the Dolphins, they're a bit hard to see behind. But... Oh, that's right, fins up. But anyway. anyway. If you're heading along, Sorry. just sit. Somewhere else, somewhere up behind. Yeah, but other... also if you are, if anyone is actually heading on, come and try and find us and say hi. Maddie and Stav will be there, so yeah. um, if you know what they look like, go up and talk to them. Yeah, and then we'll just be hanging around in the background next to them, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, is that enough? I think that's enough. All right. Uh, as always, if Let's there's anything know. you want to hear yep. from behind the scenes, wise, uh, get in touch on the B105 Instagram at B105 Brisbane. Otherwise, all our other Instagram handles are in the show notes. Tight. Right. Bye. See ya. Uh, Stab Abby and Matt, the B105 Breakfast Show.